What's going on everyone, I'm Boone. This week I'm taking a look at a really cool After Effects tool called Social Importer. Now what this allows you to do is import both Instagram and Twitter posts directly into Adobe After Effects. So if you're ever working on an animation and you want to include one of these social media posts, doing a screenshot is pretty lame. This tool allows you to import the actual post and break all those elements of the post into key frameable assets so you can really animate those to your heart's desire. Now, as always, if you want to pick up a copy of this tool, please follow my affiliate link in the video description and support the channel. Now, let's jump into After Effects and see what this tool can do. So once I have it installed, I'm going to open it up by going to Window, Extensions, and selecting Social Importer. Now, there are a couple of different ways I can actually import an Instagram or a Twitter post. So first, I need to specify whether I want to do Twitter or Instagram. So let's, let's go ahead and import um, some of my latest Instagram post. So to do that, I can actually enter the post ID of specific post, or I can search by username. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my username, which is Boone Lowe's video. And actually, if we go over, let's take a look at this page real quick. Okay, so here's my Instagram page. And let's say we wanna import the latest four. So we have two pictures and two videos or animations. Now, the really cool thing about this plugin is it works with videos. You can bring in videos or just still images, whatever you want. So let's go ahead and bring in these last four. So double click here, and select four. Now right down here we have templates. Now it's set to the default template because I haven't created any templates yet, but once I've customized certain things and created animations, I can create a custom template, which I can use in that section, which is really cool. One other thing I wanna show you about Twitter, right here we have an N and a P. So I can specify whether I wanna import the newest post or whether I wanna import the most popular post. All right, I'll switch back to Instagram. And now before I import these, I need to actually create a comp. So I'm gonna click um, new comp. Now these posts are naturally vertical. So I'm changing the width and height of my composition here to 1500 pixels by 2000 pixels. So that will allow everything to fit in there nicely. All right, so I have my comp. Actually, let's go ahead and name this Instagram. And now I'm gonna go back to social import panel and search and import. Now it's gonna find those posts and import those straight into the comp. Okay, so now if I look, I have these posts imported. Now, let me show you all the crazy customization options because there are a lot of customization options. So let's work with this one first. I'm gonna drag this one to the top. This is an image of some skulls. I was at the catacombs in Paris. If you ever come to Paris, go to the catacombs. It's mind-blowingly cool. So if you look here, I'm gonna open up this comp and now in here you can see all these different layers and once again I, I said that all of these different elements are split I can keyframe customize all of them change the size opacity but how do I do that well there's a control layer up here I'm gonna select the control layer then I'm gonna go to window effect controls now the creator of this really broke all the attributes into three main sections we have the top section if I look up here this includes the profile picture, um, the username, and these little dots, and this bar here. There's the second picture section, which is just this square here. And then we have the bottom section, which is uh, the likes, the comment, this little symbol here, the save, um, all the likes and the comments, and this whole little box here. And if you open up each of these now, you're gonna see there are just a ton of specific attributes and customization options all of which I might add are keyframable. So while I don't want to sit here in this tutorial and animate all these attributes, I just want to show you, I will do a quick little animation. So let's say we want the picture, let's say we want this picture to scale up and as it scales up, uh, the bottom and the top sections will separate and then it's going to basically do the reverse. And actually, I'm not going to do it on this one. I'm going to open up this video one and this is an actual animation that I created in After Effects of one of the metro routes here in Paris. So I'm gonna animate this one. So let's go ahead and open up this one. And I'm gonna go to that control layer. And if you look down here, you can see this is the actual element. And this video clip is only six seconds. So I'm gonna just trim this down to the six second mark. Okay, so let's say we want this animation to start at around the one second mark. So I'm gonna go straight to one second. So I'm gonna go to the picture and 
right here we have picture roundness opacity size we can have some cropping options which all very cool but i'm just going to do the picture size so we want the picture to go from 100 so i turned on the keyframe there now i'm going to go to the two two second mark and we want it to go up to like let's say like 125. okay that's looking fine now if i press uh, select the control layer and hit the u key there are those keyframes so we have that. Now, let's go ahead and animate the top section. You can see right now that as that scales up, the bottom and top sections are responding accordingly. So those are responsive moving along with the picture, which is good, but we're still going to animate these. So I'm going to open up this top section. And right now, I'm going to add all, I'm going to add all the keyframes in the same location, and then I'll go back around and I'll tweak them a little bit. So here I have just a ton of options you can see the dots over here um, the username profile pick but I just want to animate the box so top box separation I'm gonna add a keyframe here and I'm gonna have it go maybe 75 there we go and now I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the bottom bottom separation we want to animate it at 75 and then bring it back to zero okay now I'm going to grab this layer, press the U key so we can see all of these keyframes. Now I'm going to copy these. I'm going to go a little further in here. I'm going to paste. I'm going to right click, select keyframe assistant, and then just reverse all those. Now let's tweak these. So I'm going to go ahead and add some easing to those. And let's do the speed adjustments here. Go to the speed graph and Okay, and we'll do the same thing for these. Okay, we obviously don't want all of them to animate at the same time. We want maybe the picture to scale up first and then right as it's done scaling up, we'll have uh, these kind of shoot up. Yeah, like that. And then we'll do the same thing coming out of it. And now we'll just move these out a little bit accordingly. And let's see how this looks right over here in our master. OK, that's looking pretty cool. Now, so I have this little animation you know, kicking here. Now what I can do is I can just select this one. And if you look over here in the social importer panel, I can click here. This is copy paste. So now I can go and I can just copy. And then I can select all these others, and I'll just hit Paste. And now that animation will be applied to all of these posts. All right, very cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and create another comp. And uh, let's see if we can bring some Twitter items in here. So I'm going to switch to Twitter. And I'm going to go to the post ID. Now um, let's go and I have a tweet here that I've clicked on. And I'm going to just copy this URL here. And this is a particular animation that I did from a previous tutorial. It's got video and audio. So let's go back over here to After Effects and just paste that in here and search and import that and see what happens. And very cool. Here it is. And if I scrub this, you can see, you can see that we've got the audio and the video. I'm going to open this one up and let's see, go to effect controls, select the control layer and all the same elements here. Now, if you go through these, I mean, like I said, I'm not going to go through these one by one, but you can just see all of the different elements that you can, um, that you can tweak the height, the color of the, the top box, um, moving the username. Like if I open up username here, I can move the position of the username. I can change the size of it. Uh, just infinite possibilities. However, if you, if you want to match a specific color palette, whatever you want to do. Okay, so there you have it. If, if you're using social media posts inside of your animation, this is a really helpful tool. More specifically, if you're one of those creators who does um, um, content about the Trump tweets, all the tweets that um, Trump puts out, this is pretty much a necessary tool that's going to help streamline your workflow and um, do some fun stuff with that. 
So if you like this, please, and you want to help my channel out, follow that affiliate link in the video description to pick up a copy of this. Also, if you follow that link, you can check out the trailer that the creator of this plugin put together. It's really, really well done. Um, it shows all the other capabilities of this plugin, um, such as the, the stuff that you can do with the templates. Um, it, you can really streamline your workflow. And if, again, if you work a lot with, with either Instagram or Twitter post, um, this is a very fun tool, very cool tool. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. If you wanna check out more Tuesday Tool videos, I have a full-on Tuesday Tools playlist. I've been doing this for several months now and I've profiled, um, or I've featured a lot of really cool After Effects plugins, extensions, and scripts um, that do all kinds of different interesting things. And I have a bunch of um, additional videos planned and scheduled. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out more content. I'll see you next time.